Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam Thompson here at RV Sales of Oregon. So we've got a 2011 Comfort here, and I can tell you one thing for sure, you're gonna be plenty comfortable in this Comfort. Um, starting things off guys, let's open up this bay right here. So this comes up and you can see the battery bank and storage and whatnot that you have underneath here. And then let me lock this and moving around to the side you've got your propane tanks on the side here opens up right there propane tank on each side of your coach and then you've got a very sizable pass-through storage bay right here man i'll tell you what very sizable storage bay i'll tell you what if i was staying in this coach and i got in an argument with my girlfriend i think this would be my timeout area down here i mean come on i'll just bring a a, a sleeping bag and uh I'll, this is uh this could also be called the dog house not only is it a big storage bay it could be the dog house if you get in an argument with your spouse or hey if your uh your, your dog is misbehaving put your dog down here i'm just playing you get the idea plenty spacious and then this is also, most importantly, well, maybe not most importantly, but importantly enough, is a Four Seasons coach. You know what that means if you watch my videos. You've got heated and closed underbellies. So all your tanks are underneath your coach, and they're in this enclosure right here. And that is going to keep uh, your fifth wheel tanks room temperature. So if you are out camping in the cold, your tanks have that protection, and they should not freeze. A um, couple other things, guys. Uh, so this is a, a three-slide unit, and you've got dual opposing slides in the living room, so it's a very spacious floor plan. Um, come on inside with me and check it out. I guess one thing, one important thing to note, this is a 34-foot coach. So um, if you're in the market for a fifth wheel, but you don't want to tow a 40 or 42-foot uh three axle monster this could be a fantastic option for you um, walking in here guys i just love the homey feel that this coach has off the top you've got corian countertops in here beautiful corian countertops you've got some nice stools here and a nice bar top i could envision myself relaxing with my girlfriend maybe a buddy sitting here having a drink uh, putting a game on or something, uh, maybe my favorite show or a movie, but this is a very comfortable place to sit down, relax, and spend time with loved ones. Um, other things, guys, so you've got good overhead storage in here. You've got a three-burner stovetop, a gas electric refrigerator. Uh, but what really speaks to me, guys, uh, are the, the quality fit and finish in here. So like I said, your Corian countertops. I love the fact that you have dual opposing slides in here. Uh, in my opinion, dual opposing slides are a game changer. It just opens up your coach and your floor plan that much more and gives you uh, th that open feeling that always feels great when you're in a, in a coach. Um, you've also got some nice storage right here. And you can see that uh, maybe a little uh, do-it-yourself action here, um, but you could do with that uh, as you please. You could keep that if you wanted. You could probably take it out. Now let's see what they got going on. Yeah, so these things, it looks like they swivel out. Interesting. So um, that's actually very creative. So you could put canned goods. You could use this for extra clothing storage. You could put other stuff, uh, canned goods or, or whatever you might want to in here. Um, but actually very creative, especially since those things swing out. And then you've got additional deep storage right here as well. Um, but yeah, I, I love the way this kitchen's set up. It, it's also nice to have a back window, guys. Think about like if you're going camping um, and maybe uh, your significant other is uh, frying up some eggs, You've got a beautiful view um, outside of your back window here. So just think, you pull up to the campsite and maybe you're going fishing for the weekend. Um, one of my favorite spots to go camping is, uh, I'm from Washington, if you couldn't tell, is a place called Bonaparte Lake Resort. My dad and I have gone there every year since I was five years old and they've got great spots on the lake. And I could just see my dad and I going there together and uh, backing in 
back and into the lake and I could you know see myself frying up some eggs making something here and you'll have a beautiful view of the lake or wherever it may be that you're camping it's nice to have a, a back window and have a, a view especially when you're sitting here maneuvering in the kitchen or you could sit here maybe it's not a drink maybe it's a cup of coffee in the morning you're sitting here with your, your spouse you have a, a nice view of where whatever it is or wherever you may be going camping um, all right guys let's check out the rest of this coach so like I said, I really enjoy the floor plan in this coach. I enjoy the dual opposing slides. And I can see myself sitting down here, relaxing, kicking back. Uh, this is a very comfortable place to sit and relax and, and converse and talk with your loved ones or your friends, your family, whoever it might be that you're going RVing with. Uh, this is a very relaxing place to sit and talk and just enjoy the space that's in this comfort fifth wheel. As I said, this coach is appropriately named the comfort fifth wheel because I feel nothing but comfort hanging out in here. Um, anyway, I think you get the point. Very comfortable living area here. Uh, nice um, bar top and kitchen area. Let's check out the rest of this coach here. Um, you've got your entertainment center right here, sound bar, a good overhead storage and some storage beneath here. Perfect for maybe, uh, hey, who knows, maybe you have some old DVDs or CDs or whatever you might want to put down there. And you've got a nice overhead fan to keep things cool in the summertime. And coming up here, so you've got uh, your control panel right here, so your gas electric water heater, uh, your awning extend, your ceiling lights. Don't think we have power right now, nope, that's okay. You can see all the controls here, your slide room controls are right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, come on in, on in here guys, you've got your bathroom which connects into your bedroom. So, here is your shower right here. There is that, and you can see you've got a skylight. Your skylight is just going to give those taller men a little bit more headroom. Um, so you come in here, and you can see that you can easily uh, take a shower in here comfortably and not feel too crammed. That's always important to me in an RV. And then I like the way they set up the toilet. You can sit down on here, and you have plenty of room to uh, have open legs and not feel like you've got to be jammed up here if you're going to the restroom. And then you've got place for toiletries right here, right behind your mirror. Just a nice, comfortable bathroom setup. And then come on in here, guys. Check out the bedroom. So, wow, guys, I love this. So you've got uh, an east to west bedroom slide in here, and I love that because it opens up your closet space. So come on in here, guys, and you can see this is plumbed for a washer dryer. I'll get my phone flashlight out, but check that out. So you've got a very spacious closet and plenty of room for uh, bringing your favorite sweatshirts or clothes here. You can fold that there, you can hang it up, and you also have room for a washer dryer. If that's important to you, guess what? You can plug that in there. And uh, what I also like is, uh, you know, if you want to put your phone or something by the bedside there, you can do that right there. You've also got uh, pull out storage here. Maybe you put your socks and underwear right here, uh, but you've got plenty of room in the bedroom. Um, follow me guys, let's go back down to the living room and wrap up this video. So yeah guys, uh, what I really love about this coach, dual opposing slides, 34 feet, so it's not going to overwhelm you as far as length. Um, this could be a perfect fifth wheel, uh, you know, for just a couple of people going out for the weekend. Um, that's how I see it. Um, and it's also a fifth wheel that is very nice and relaxing, and it's not going to gouge your budget too much. Um, in today's day and age where we're facing a tough econ economy, high interest rates, uh, we're selling this for $34,995, and I think that is a very fair price for what this fifth wheel offers. Um, and it's just, it's, if you want a fifth wheel that's not going to overwhelm you in length and overwhelm you in price, I could see this is a grand slam for you. Um, if you're interested, if you want to talk ball, you know me, I love sports, uh, give me a call. Uh, give me a call. I'd love to chat. I'd love to help you out. Sam Thompson here at RV Sales of Oregon. Can't wait to hear from you folks, and thanks for watching.